boxing fans. Chris Robinson here, respected trainer. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad at the Fit Kit Factory Gym in Las Vegas. Eddie, I was going to take a look at some fights coming up in November. Uh, November 10th, Abner Maris takes on Anselmo Moreno. Are you familiar with Abner Maris? What do you think of that fight? It's going to be a great fight. Uh, Moreno from Panama, if I'm not mistaken. I love the way he boxes. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a past scientific boxer. He brings everything. Good moves, head movement, side to side, good jab. He occasionally right hand, left hook. This guy is, is a great boxer. Mar and Morris is more a little cruder, more of a pressure guy, work the body. How do you see their styles meshing? Well, styles is great because for the simple reason, you have a, uh, a boxer, you have a uh, sort of a puncher. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to bring the pressure on him, but I just think that uh, the good legs, side to side movement, it's going to throw him off his game. On that same card, Alfredo Angulo, a junior middleweight contender. You know, he had the loss to James Kirkland. Now he, he's working with Virgil Hunter up, up north in Cali. Do you think Virgil will be able to kind of fine tune him and uh, Angulo can make a comeback? Virgil's a great teacher. And if anybody can do it, I'm sure Virgil could. He's a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he sits and talks to his guys and he gets the best out of, out of his guys. You know what I mean? For instance, Andre Ward, who's becoming a great fighter. And the next week, Adrian the Problem Broner faces Antonio DeMarco at Lang City. What are, you what are your thoughts? It's going to be a good fight. You know, I got to go with Broner because he's a he's a boxer, puncher, showman, the whole nine yards. And, you know, he's this, this, is, this is for a legitimate title. Yeah. You know, and I think he's going to pull it out. Do you think boxing, he's kind of more flashy guys like Broner to carry the sport? Or? Without a doubt, because these guys are the next generation. I mean, Floyd, you know, is, is probably going to have two or three more fights, and he's going to say, you know, I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. And if you need guys like Adrian Broner to step to the plate, keep his comb in his pocket, not to not gonna fight, you know, brush his hair, and, you know, people like that. They like that. Do you remember... Um, DeMarco's victory over Jorge Linares, oh, and man. if he can't, comes with that game plan, what trouble can he cause for uh, Broner? Well, he can punch. You know, he can punch, and he's he's got condition, which showed when he fought Linares. He just kept the, kept the pressure on Linares, and if he can keep that same sort of pressure on Adrian Broner without getting cut or without getting hit too much, we're going to have a great fight. And on HBO has another show, November 24th. It's a Robert Guerrero, Andre Berto, welterweight match. What do you think? It's going to be a toss-up. To me, it's a toss-up. Yeah, it's a toss-up fight. You got both great champions. Both is going to give the people you know, a great fight because that's how their record shows that every fight they're in, they, they give great fights. And when Robert Grell fought uh, Selkuk Aiden, were you surprised at how he was able to come off a year layoff, the so shoulder injury, and go up against a tough guy like that and do well? Uh, I'm, uh, a guy like Guerrero, he lives, eats, drinks, sleeps boxing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As long as his wife is okay, you know, she had a uh, cancer scare, as long as she's okay, he's happy, and he's back to doing what he wants to do, winning championships. And Andre Berto, he saw the Ortiz rematch fall apart because he had traces of a illegal substance in his body. You think he has a chip on his shoulder to kind of prove people how... how well, they should have a chip because at the end of the day, they proved that, you know, he didn't have... Uh, it, it was proved that he didn't have them in his body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he should have a chip. You know? I mean, look, listen, look what they did to Morales. Tested him twice, and he still came up positive. They still let him fight. Yeah. So, I mean, listen... And I'm not, I'm, I'm not scared to say what I'm about to say, that boxing is corrupt. Yeah. You know, as long as the money comes pouring in, it keeps pouring in, they don't care. Let it go. Got you. Thanks a lot.